Special shout out to all my patrons. All right, let's see if AV is willing to have a good faith conversation. Very good job, Javon. Very good job. You started off with a lie. Good job. That's not what I said. I've never said that. So why are you starting off with a lie, bro? Why can't you be truthful to your AV. people? Why can't you be truthful AV. to all your fans? Quit lying. And hey, AV. Mr. Jones, you know, you know Mr. Jones isn't going to be a good faith uh, moderator. He doesn't like me because I beat him in a debate. I already beat him already. That was easy work. Easiest work of all time. So, Javon, quit lying, bro. I love all people. So quit your lying, bro. That's fake news. Quit spreading your fake news, bro. AV. All I said was trans AV, can women we relax are biological for a second? females. Can we relax what? for just a second? Can we bring it down a notch for a second? Like, can you just say hello? Good what? evening. How are you guys doing? I feel like, no, hey, no, no. Jones, I'm going to be honest, though. I feel like he should come and, like, change, like, like, defend himself. Because it's like, if somebody already has a president that he doesn't like these people in general, he should be like, hey, man, that's not what I said. No, I, I dig that. I dig that. Well, so you straight here. up lied. Okay, that's wait, fine. Wait, you addressed it. Wait, you addressed wait, it. Okay. You wait, addressed Javon, it. Oh, wait, wait. Can we start the with the hello, good that. evening? Pull up the clue for us. Uh, we can't hear you. Okay. Hello, yeah. Javon. Hello, Mr. Jones. And, and hello, Jonathan Moss. Now, you hear me, Jonathan? Doing? Yeah, yes, so AB, AB, you came them. in here. You came in here mad at Jovan. Hold on, buddy. You came in here mad at Jovan because you, you said he told a lie, right? Um, nobody, like quite literally, nobody in the history of ever, like February, has ever beat me in a debate. That has never happened. Like literally never. But, like but literally bro, I never. You like three times. Yeah, I'm just wondering happened. if we're going to have a conversation Jones, Jones, or not, bro. AV. Are we going to have like that's a good faith happened. debate Nobody or not? Hey, I want you to apologize for lying. Javon, okay. I'll do the okay, debate let me, you, but you got to apologize I will, for lying. I will, hold on. I will change what I said. Uh, I don't think that you dislike trans people. I think your rhetoric is harmful to trans people. That's what I'll say then. I'll take back what I said before. Oh, I take so it back. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. So you just said, wait, wait. Did you hear that, Jonathan? He just admitted that he lied to well, start I just the took, debate. I just that's a really good way to start a debate. I just took back what I said. I mean, I'll. Oh, I'll it, it, I, if I said the that, word, the word will if be. If I said canceled. that, why would you take it back? Okay, okay, well, fine, fine. Let me let me reword that, it again. It I'll reword it one more time. I think that you do dislike trans people, and I'll prove it via your rhetoric in the debate that we are about to have. Okay, let's try it. Try it again. You already started off with a lie, but let's go, baby. I need Mr. Jones. Let's meet you debate. Don't run. Come on, Javon. I'm not running. I'm right hey, here. Are you, that are was you good, by the way. Are I'm you in a running. place with like um, good quality, like good uh, consistent Wi-Fi, or can you get like closer to your house? Why am I cutting out, sir? Am yeah, I it's going out? in and out. It's going in and out. What about that? It seems straight for right now. So are we no, ready? Jonathan, are we gonna? I just want to let you know before this debate starts, bro. You're really, you're really cool, bro. You, you have some funny videos. I've seen you before. Keep up the good work, bro. You goaded. You goaded. Keep it up. So we gonna do this? But anyways, Javon, quit lying, bro. If you're gonna debate with me, tell the truth. Uh, it's not a lie. I think this is how you feel, and I'm gonna prove it based on your rhetoric in the debate we're about to have. I mean, uh, it's fake news, but let's go. We don't need Mr. Jones. Debate me then, bro. Well, yeah, this I wanna... is this is my thoughts. I'll give you with well, Javon, I'm gonna give you my complete thought. Wait, give and me a second to pull up my notes. Give me a second to pull up my okay, notes. I want to write down what you say just so that I don't misconstrue anything you say at any point in the okay. debate. Yeah. All right, he's go already, ahead. He's already lied once. Hey, go everyone ahead. get the lie counter out. He's already lied once. Go ahead. Okay, so, Jamal, are you going to let me talk, bro? Jeez. I'm telling you to talk. You know how the debates work, bro? Okay. You've been talking talk. since That's you good. came in here, AV. Come on, buddy. Relax. Jones, show me that food again. It was good. But anyways, here are my thoughts. You hungry? All right. I'll so share I already you. said this. And we'll see again, Javon. I said I'll you share with talk. you. You want to come over and get some? Yes. I'll give you a nice big hug, maybe a smooch on the cheek. We can share a meal. Whoa, bro. Whoa, what's up with the hug? No, I'm just kidding. You don't like <laughs> hug? I'm just kidding. But anyways, so you guys are making me forget what I'm talking about. Just chill out for a second. Let me think. All right. Okay, so here are my thoughts. This is the AV show lowdown right here, right now. Javon versus the AV show live. So here it is. So I believe in social affirmation. Oh, no, no. You got to mute yourself if you're going to be typing, bro. 
That was How way too loud. I can't even think. Yeah, that's a lot of clicking. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. I'm not, like, I'm, not I'm not even being rude. I'm not even being rude. Like, I understand what he's saying, though. Okay, I believe in social affirmation. If you start typing, Javon, bro. Okay, so I believe in uh, social affirmation, where if someone wants to go by new pronouns, wants to go by a new name, I'll respect them, and I'll call them by that new pronoun, I'll call them by that new name. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and say a trans woman is a biological female. It's not true, because I just got done debating someone a couple days ago where they said trans women are biological females. It's not true. And you want to know what else? They called me transphobic because I wouldn't date a trans woman. It's like, I'm sorry, bro, that I have a preference for biological females. Like, bruh, 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 bruh. So how's that transphobic, Javon? Tell me. Great. I'm so, waiting, bro. yeah, I had to unmute myself because you were crying about my typing. Um, okay, so. I mean, it was loud. Can you mute yourself? Then your, mute your car background noise is loud. Great. Background noise, what? Great, so. Uh, this idea, uh, you said specifically, uh, that if somebody wants to go by new pronouns, you'll respect those new pronouns, a new name. Great. That's fine. You said that, uh, trans women who call themselves biological females are wrong and you, and you invalidate them a little bit that way. I think we should, we should come to a conclusion about what it means to be biologically female, what you're specifically talking about when you say biological female. So I know what you're talking about what? for the debate. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. So you think trans women are biological females? I said I want to know what you mean when you say no, the no, phrase the biological question. female. Bruh, you know what a biological female is. Don't be disingenuous. See, he's already arguing with bad faith. You know what a biological female is, bro. Don't lie to me. AV, you, are you made really a claim. Paid off? Are you really paid off by the left? Are you really paid off by the left this much? That you, you can't even tell me what a biological female is anymore? Bruh. So, AV, if do, you're not willing you to have a good faith conversation, we don't have to. Bro, you started off with bad faith because you lied about I me, asked bro. you I love a question. I asked you one simple question. question. Yeah, do what you when you that, say... Oh, go ahead, Jonathan. Do you believe that a biological female is somebody that is born a female? Correct. Great. What makes someone a biological female? Coming out of the vagina. Oh, I don't like circular definitions, yeah. right? So if you just say being a female makes I'm you a female... Bro, well, because you're not Jonathan, telling me what it is. I told you this was going to happen. I told you this was going to happen. First, they start off with a social construct, gender. But I now never... they're arguing about sex. Wait, I... So now I, they're arguing wait, about sex. I've talked about... We, we've been talking about sex this whole time. Okay, but... The first argument was, oh, you can change your gender because it's a social construct. But now you're saying, said what is biological sex? That doesn't even exist, bruh. I never... Can you define a biological female? Bruh, you know what a biological female is. Quit lying. So, one, I never said that. Uh, that gender was a social construct. I believe both gender and sex are inherently linked together. Uh, I think gender is more neurosocial, if anything. And then I think that sex uh, is, is, bi is a, on a bimodal spectrum. Um, and you don't fall, and you can fall you in said, multiple places on that spectrum. <laughs> you said sex is on a well, bimodal spectrum. I guess. Yes. Can I? Um, can I? Can I? Um, what was it? Not. What was it? Um, not play the fence, but be on the complete opposite side. So, um, the differences between a male and a female would be the female has the ability to give birth. If there are women that don't have that ability, that's how you know that something is wrong with that woman because she cannot give birth. As in, if she doesn't have the process to do that. Is that what their purpose is? Most definitely not. But do they have the ability to? Yes. I think you can say that females okay, so of this- females, Biological females, Javon is trying to erase y'all to say you don't exist, that I'm you not. exist on a spectrum. What? I'm not. First, it was gender. Now they've conflated the two to gender and sex and say biological females don't exist. This is a joke. This is That's hilarious. That's not what I said, AV. Well, so, you said it's on a spectrum. Show that me a spectrum. That doesn't mean it does. There's do you know what a bimodal spectrum is? Listen, there's three. Listen, shh, shh, shh. Listen, Javon, there's three. Biological male, biological female, and an anomaly called intersex. Less than 5% of the population. And they usually choose which genitalia they want. There's no spectrum. What are you talking about, bro? So a spectrum would be things that are on two extremes. So you have male, female, and then anyone who has an intersex variant would fall into a middle place on that spectrum. The very middle of that... Means. 
the very middle of that spectrum would be true chimerism, which happens to about like uh, I think it's like one percent of all intersex conditions would be true chimerism, okay, which would fall so in the very middle. You're talking about okay, so intersex is five percent of the population, but we're talking about one percent of five percent. So you're talking about an anomaly of an anomaly. These people Bro, still what are exist. You even talking about? These people still exist. Okay, but you're talking about an anomaly of an anomaly. When I'm asking okay, and- what biological women are, I want to talk about everyone that is in that category, not just some. I don't care if I'm leaving out one person. Okay, I'm talking about if there's 95%. one person. I'm AV, talking about 95 percent. 95. AV, are you going to just 95. interrupt? Are you going to just interrupt me when I because I keep letting you speak? Okay. I just want to know if I'm able to speak. Right. Great. So All I right. don't I don't care that it's a large percentage. I'm not going to leave out the small percentage just because they don't fit in line with the small percentage. Right. Like that just doesn't make sense to me if we're trying to come up with a word that encompasses an entire portion of people. I would want to make sure that word fits for every person that could fit in that category. So inside of inside of the category, right, of male or female, right, even though you're a man and you're infertile, that doesn't mean uh, I feel you. Yeah. So if somebody that were to say you're if, not a man, that would just mean that you're an infertile man. Yeah. Right? If somebody so were to say all up. women are people who have wombs, that would exclude a lot of women who are born uh, with chromosomal makeups so, of X, y, XX that are you know, born I'm without wombs. To, that would that would exclude Dude, them from that category. This whole thing. Javon, I'm about to destroy this whole thing. I asked you this question before, and you ran from the question. How many trans women have had kids? Zero. How okay. many biological females have, have had kids? All of them. No, That's there, the difference. Wait, baby. there are a lot of people so who you are. Can talk about, no, no, no. You can talk about anomalies. You can say, oh, well, there's some infertile women. Doesn't matter. All trans women are infertile. So know your role and shut your mouth, bro. And I'm I'm just going to uh, try to have a calmer conversation outside of that one. I get what you're saying. Um, inside of the women that cannot have kids, right? The reason we know that there's something wrong is because they can't. So that means in the anomaly of the women that do not have those things, you can tell something is wrong in that sense. Does well, we- that not make them women? No. That just means them women with an anomaly. Well, exactly. So I would I would say that trans women, especially if they undergo HRT or any kind of um, medical transition, uh, that those trans women are inducing an intersex condition into themselves. They are medically giving themselves an intersex condition. Um, When we look at how we check if somebody is male or female in society we use hormones so we specifically like take their blood and then test their hormones they are if they're on hrt they hormonally are going to be a female like a, a, a test to see what they are is not going to tell that they're male because of the the hrt uh treatment so when i the reason i asked av specifically like what his criteria for biological female are is because when he says right that um yeah. No trans woman is given birth or all feet women are this and this, whatever, Zero. you know, all of his. When he says all of these things, I want to come up with a common understanding of what we're talking about, because those things can be twisted, you. twist and firm turned right now on the topic of like trans women giving birth. We're literally this year uh, doing a uterus transplant to see if a trans woman mm, so can you know give birth. Do, so if we you know what you're trying to do, you're trying to make actual women obsolete. Dude, are you trying to apply for CNN, bro? Because you sound like every CNN news so, anchor talking fake news. So, Jonathan, to quickly answer what he just said, he claims that trans people are this very small minority of the population, but claims that letting them give, like, a uterus transplant would be making women obsolete. I don't know how you can make something obsolete when it's a low pop, a low percentage. Okay, now answer this question. Okay, Javon, if I say I will not date a trans woman, does that make me transphobic? Depends on the specific reason. What do you mean? Like, so, okay, so, so for if instance, a woman, no, 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 no. Answer the wait, wait, stop. If a woman is a lesbian and doesn't date men, does that make her a misandrist? If a no. gay man doesn't date a woman, does that make him a misogynist? No. no, it doesn't. So keep that same energy with people who don't want to date trans women. Yeah, so I can again, explain it to you, Evie. You're talking about. I can explain it. I can explain it. I think if you don't want to date a trans woman because you have like a genital preference and you don't like like penises, that's fine. If you don't want to date a trans woman because you have that you you want a biological child someday, totally fine, right? But if you're if if they if you are attracted to them, they've undergone bottom surgery, so they have like the genitalia you might be attracted to, and you go, well, I still don't want to date them, even if you were attracted to them. I would say that's a little bit of transphobic. The only reason you don't want to date them is because they're trans. I think it's fine if you have a genital preference. I have a genital preference. I probably wouldn't date someone with a penis i just i i that's just not what i'm into you probably wait wait 
Wait, wait, wait. So you said you consider yourself straight, but you probably wouldn't date someone with a penis? Yeah, when push comes to shove, Bro, if they're if they're thick, what? I don't know what I'll end up doing. I might I might just just you know go back back door the whole no. time. But like if they're hey, thick, they're hey, thick. Whoa, I can't whoa, really. Whoa, 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 wait, the AV show, the AV show. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like, it, like if you if you looking at something, you like, damn. Right, and he turn up and be like, "What's good, bro? You trying to hit? I might. I can't say. I can't say what I would or would not. I also think sexuality, though. I think sexuality is on a bit of a spectrum as well. So, oh my I, God, is I everything on a spectrum? Wait, wait, wait. What's not on a spectrum to you? Because I guess everything's on a spectrum: sex, gender, stinking sexuality. Yeah, I think I most. Guess, I guess straight people don't exist anymore. Is what you're saying? Why wouldn't straight people exist? Okay, do you know what heterosexual means? Yeah. You're attracted means to you're the, into the opposite, opposite gender. Yeah. Means you're into the opposite genitalia. Opposite well, gender. genitalia, correct? Gender. No, no, I thought gender was a social construct. When did I say that? Define a woman. What is a woman? Uh, yeah, I think me personally, the definition that I would use when I'm speaking on woman is I would say a woman is anybody who fits into biological, social, or personal uh, categories of femininity. That's what I would say when I define a woman. What is femininity? I would say femininity are attributes that we attribute to sex opposite of male or, fe or you know, female, the female sex. So attributes that we would like usually prescribe to the female sex. So things like long hair, things like. Um, Ooh, stereotyping. Uh, okay. Well, well, wait, I said typically. Wait. So there's a reason why I put the wait, word wait, typically so, there. So, wait, wait. So masculine. So, so masculine biological females are not women. No, I never said that. I said, I said you. Exactly. Well, that's, wait, what are you even AV, talking AV. About? I use very specific words when I use these definitions. There's a reason why I say yes, biological, you're... social, and personal, right? I use very specific Bro, words for a reason. Bro, I gotta let you have that. CNN at this point. You're just quoting CNN at this point. That's all you're doing, bro. How am I quoting CNN? I've never heard CNN use this definition before in my life. I mean, CNN is spreading this fake news. Like, you are attacking straight people. People have a preference. If someone wants to date a biological female, that does not give you the right to call them transphobic. Just like that doesn't give me a right to call a lesbian a misandrist or a gay person a misogynist because they won't date the opposite sex. So, again, you you need to keep that same energy for everyone. And you AV. need to treat everyone with respect. AV, is trans, so you are going out here. Is trans a sexuality? Uh, well, I mean, if you're a biological male... And you want to live as a woman, which I completely agree with. That's fine. But do not be surprised if a straight man does not want to date you. That's why I don't agree with going stealth. Would I you date like a trans lying, man? Bro. No, because I, I, I uh, trans men are masculine. Why would I date a girl who's masculine? What if it's a trans man who's not really that masculine? But, but you just said a trans woman or a woman is someone with femininity so i guess a male personal would be someone so like like they can they can personally view masculinity a little different than you right so like i would probably view masculinity well, a little different than like a gay person right we might view masculinity a little bit differently i don't think there's an so issue you, with that so you're just saying makeup definitions so no, it's not i just making feel up like this is masculine even though you don't feel like it's masculine yeah i think masculinity and femininity are very like subjective personalized things yeah absolutely I think they have to be. Otherwise, wait, wait, otherwise we're running into issues of like cisgender men who wouldn't fit into these categories based on what other cisgender men say they should fit into. Yo, someone just said there's a femme trans man. So it's a biological female who thinks she's who believes she's a man, but then is also presenting as a, a female. What? Yeah. Have you seen them? Do you know what femme boys are? Biological men. Yeah. Femme are boys are men who, who are very feminine. They're femme boys. Yeah, but then they're not a trans man. Well, they're what if they're what if man. they're a femboy who is trans? What? What is it? What are you even talking about, bro? They're trans femboy. There's a. Are they a biological male? No. Then what are you talking about? They're a W to M trans man, and then when they tra when they transition to male. Or to men, whichever one you want to say, they also like to be a femboy. Bruh. All would you would you Avi, would life. you date a trans woman who has undergone bottom surgery? No. Why not? Because I want because I want to have a family. 
okay so hold on if your if your reasoning is i want biological kids i would not consider that transphobic but that because that issue isn't i don't like trans people but there are people who are gonna who are like i don't want biological kids i like uh women's privates but i still wouldn't date a transition trans person and their only reasoning is because they're trans wait wait have you uh, what wait what's his name have you debated Danny? I don't know who that is. It's his name is like Phil Talk Danny or whatever. But anyways, he he came up with this argument. I I want to know if you're going to come up with this argument. But he's like, well, what if a trans person got into this machine and when they walked out, they were exactly like Megan Fox. They had a uterus. They could have babies. Would you still date them? And if you say no, then you're transphobic. It's like, bro, then they just changed their entire DNA. You gave him a uterus. You gave him everything. I mean, you're, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, is it, it tracks that if you say no to them having everything that you want the criteria to be and you still say no, that would track that there is a little bit of transphobia there. Or you just don't want to date inherently biological men. Well, wait, well, I think he just didn't he say that there's a machine that turns them into biological females. Well, I mean, no, the, the OK, so the machine you go in there, it gives them a uterus. They present like. He said, name like the most pretty girl that you could think of. I thought of Megan Fox because I couldn't say my wife, obviously. Um, but because no one's ever seen like a photo of her. So I just had to give like a blatant 10 out of 10. We would say Megan Fox. Do you agree, Javon? Or do you have another 10 out of 10? She's like a seven for me. Then who's a 10 out of 10? Megan Good. Who's Megan Good? She's a black actress. Wait, what, what show is she on? Uh, she's been a lot of stuff. She was in. She's in Shazam. The, it's the most recent thing she's done. So what? The most recent thing she's done is Shazam. She's been in a lot of stuff. Oh, I haven't seen Shazam. But yeah, I would. I would say if they go into a machine, they get a uterus. The machine gives them a vagina. It gives them all these attributes. What? What would? What would? Why would I need to say no? Like, what would be the the holdup? They don't have any of the things that I don't like. Which are penises. Does it change their chromosomes? I, I, I wouldn't know. I, I don't think any of us know what most people's chromosomes are. Like when okay, I'm dating, okay, like, well, like okay, in my. Well, then. Go ahead. Well, then we're getting into this debate to where, okay, what if, what if I created this robot and it went into a machine and it came out almost exactly like a woman and you uh, made love to it and you could have babies with it? Would you feel okay with dating that robot if it's not a real person? I mean, I think that gets into a, like a personhood that? conversation, but I think men use sexual objects to have sex with all the time. I mean, pocket, okay, you know, what's exist, right? Flesh, flesh, like if that's just saying there's a, here's a flashlight that can, that can birth a baby, right? But like, I don't know so what that has to do with the conversation we're having currently, which is about like, if well, that's being pretty much what you're saying, you're saying a man, pretty much what you're saying you're saying a man a biological male could pretty much turn into a biological female or a robot who has no sex could turn into a biological female because it could have babies yeah but I, I, don't, I don't date people just because they can have babies right like i date people for more than that so like whether so i would personally i don't really care for wanting kids like if it happens it happens i don't really i'm not like seeking it out but like i don't date people just on the on the idea of they'll give me kids right like i look for more than that i mean isn't uh having children the most important thing in the world i mean it might be to you it's what, not to what me. is the meaning of what is the meaning of life if you're not gonna pass down your legacy or pass down your name or have a family i mean what are you gonna do on christmas bro you're gonna wake up and just open presents for yourself like don't yeah you have that's kids that's phenomenal like, to me because again you don't want to be you you don't want to be i have nieces Wait, how old are you, and Javon? i have neat i'm 30 i have nieces and nephews like what? if i want i have nieces and nephews if i want to like give kids a christmas i just go to my mom's for christmas you're cutting and, out what I, I said i have nieces and nephews you're cutting out what Okay, how old are you, Javon? 30. 30 and your biological clock isn't ticking? You're men like, men don't have a biological Maybe clock. Maybe I should have a couple of kids. Wait, men don't have a biological uh, clock. In we your can... brain you do, because you know, you, you do in your brain, because you know, hey, we're at least halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. 
Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Oh. Yeah, so men don't have a biological <laughs> clock. We can have kids, like, straight up onto our deathbed. We can still, like, what? produce. Men don't have a biological clock. We produce sperm, like, until we die. Okay, but again, you know what I'm saying. Not really, no. And you're going to say, no, I don't, but you know what I'm saying, bro. You do, because guess what? At 30 years old, do you want to be 50 and look around, have no family, walk down the stairs and see absolutely nothing absolutely nothing yeah i'm I'm, see, I'm very comfortable in my like own company i don't need people around me i like myself enough to like enjoy myself i i really like being having the freedom of doing whatever i want in life without worrying about like a kid I like not spending my whole so paycheck you... on diapers. It's fantastic. It's li I don't. I don't know if you know this. It's really great to have disposable income that you don't have to spend on children. Okay, so this is pretty much proven that the liberals are trying to destroy the family because you're pretty much telling 340 people having a family. Eh. <sighs> okay, leftist. Yeah, I don't like capitalism. Okay, you're pretty leftist. Okay, you're pretty much telling leftists, uh, all the leftist people, eh, family doesn't matter. Why would you spend your to money me. on babies when you could just to spend me. it on computers and stuff? To huh? me, there are people that love kids and I'm more, more power to them. I have a niece. I love her. But, like, it doesn't mean that I personally want kids. That's a great thing about America is I have the personal freedom to not have kids if I don't want them. No, but you don't have the personal freedom to be straight anymore because if you don't date a trans woman, you're transphobic now. And you, you, you people create lies and try to call you names. Wait, but had, they don't keep that same energy for a lesbian or for a gay person. Yeah, I feel like we've already gone through why the why that doesn't work that way, the way you're you're describing it. I think we've I thought we've why already Why doesn't it? Because well, no, no. Because if the preference is only okay. because they're trans, yes, I would call that transphobic. But if you have like a genital preference or if you're like only looking for somebody that can give you biological kids, I would I would say you would hold that same energy if you dated a cisgender woman. If she was barren, you wouldn't stay dating her, right? I mean, you usually find that out the first date anyways. And if you're trying to look for something serious and you're not just trying to have fun. I've never asked someone on a first date whether or not they are barren. No, okay, Javon, quit quit with this game. You're trying to act like the liberal and the smart guy, but listen, when you are on the first date, you usually ask, so what do you want to do? Do you want to have kids one day? What are you looking for? No, I save, you, that, for, I save that for like the third date. I First dates, usually oh, I have like, I, no, I'm not, I'm Cap. serious. The first date is usually light banter. Javon. I don't like to get into the whole, do you want, especially because I don't, I don't care one way or another if I have kids. So I don't ask them, do you want kids? Because it doesn't wait, matter wait. to me. So, wait, wait, wait. So all the people saying all the stuff in the chat, so why would you wait three dates to find out you're not compatible with the person? Well, because so if you I, want a family and they don't want a I family, don't want a family, then what's the point? Well, I don't okay, care one I'm, I'm way or another if I have a family, so it doesn't matter to me whether not, or not they Javon, can, have, can or can't have kids. I'm saying, but Javon, I'm saying if you wanted a family, why would you wait to the third date to ask them that? Some people just don't want to ask personal stuff on the first date. Okay, so again, you're scared to be who you really are. Especially Javon, like asking were, someone know, if they're barren. Like that I just seems like a that just seems like a really hey, Javon, breach of privacy. Say, Javon, Javon, you're spreading fake news. I never said barren. I said, do you want to have a family one day? Yeah, they might what, still what want to have that a, question. Wait, what if they do still want to have a family? What if they just want to adopt? The answer okay, to that well, question would, would be that. different. They... Yeah, but then you wouldn't know that they're barren until later yeah. on. So you wouldn't know that they can't give you biological no, kids. No, no, Javon, it's a, it's a linear questioning. Do you want to have family one day? Sure, I'd like to adopt. Oh, why would you like to adopt? Oh, because I can't have kids. What are you talking about? How is that a weird leap? So, Javon, I... quit quit being disingenuous. I'm not being disingenuous. I just think most people aren't going like, to divulge. Like, no, I just think most people aren't no, going to divulge like, no. that information like on a first date. That's just what I think. No, you're, no, you're like, no, you're like, bruh, why, why are you going to ask if they're barren? Nah, it's like, I want to have a family one day. And the girl would be like, oh, so do I. Okay. Avi, or, would I, you, I, I, I would adopt. Would you marry kids. somebody? I mean, would you, would you weird? marry someone that is barren, but they can only adopt kids? No, because I want to have okay. biological children. Okay, that's fine. I was just asking. So what's wrong with that? I didn't say anything was wrong, with, wrong it. I was with it. I didn't say anything was wrong with it. I was just asking you the question, dude. 
So remember, if you have preferences and you want to have a family, you're a bigot. You're when a did bad I, person. When did I say that? How dare you have preferences for genitalia? When did I say How that? How dare Avery? you like biological females? How dare you? When did I you, say that? Everybody? I said How that you should. You? I said that genital preferences are valid. When did I ever say otherwise? It seems like you keep Nobody wanting to. Said that. It seems like you keep wanting to debate somebody who's not me, because you keep prescribing arguments that I'm not making. So I don't know if you want to debate somebody else, but if you'd like to debate me and my arguments, I'm right here. Yeah, put those red flags down there, babies. Put those red flags. You will do absolutely no. <laughs> would you Bless rather debate? Babe. Would you rather debate my comment section? There. Now, now it's just I mean, us. I... No, Javon. No. Why would you do that? And now it's just, it's just, it's just us now. But now it's lonely. I don't like it. Like I said, I'm good in my own company, so it's fine for me. Javon. Okay, put it back. I won't. Talk to him. Javad, please. It's lonely. Put it back. It seems like you're Javon! just here to... Are you just here to, like, put on a show for the comments? Is that all you're no, here to I do? No, I just want the comments back. Bro. I was scared. Javon, I was scared, bro. Okay, but let's debate. I won't talk to the comments anymore, I promise. Yeah, so I'll just ask the same question because I feel like I didn't get an adequate answer. Like, what makes somebody biologically female? Um, they have the chromosomes. I mean, there's multiple things. Here it is, okay. I'll tell you. Chromosomes. They mm -hmm. can have babies. They were born a female. They were born with a... The, I don't even know if I can say it. I'm not even going to say it. Okay, chromosomes, so babies, and vaginas. Surgery, okay, so if you had to get surgery to get your vagina, you're not a biological female, bro. Great. So somebody <laughs> who's exposed. born... What would you call somebody... Exposed. What would you call somebody that's born with X, um, XX chromosomes, but no vagina? I would call that a very, very small percentage of people, and they're probably going to get a surgery to get one. Can they have babies? No. What would you, would you call them woman or would you call them male? I'd call them, I guess, intersex if they don't have genitalia. They have XX chromosomes, but no vagina. Okay. Okay. So okay. what would you call them? So, okay, but they have no vagina. Can they have a baby? Like if they were to get surgery and ha open up a vagina, make a vagina. Can no, they have no a baby? uterus either. But they have XX chromosomes. Okay. And I would call them intersex. So then the chromosomes aren't what matter I, in this in the argument. So like, I can cross no, no, that no, out. I said there's multiple things. Listen, are you listening? It's like a triangle. Yeah. If you're missing a couple of those. Okay. So if you have the chromosomes good, but if you don't have a vagina and you can't have kids, you're intersex. Wait, wait, wait. So just, just so I'm aware, I'm, I'm, I understand you view it as a triangle, but I'm saying it seems like we can remove sections of that triangle and they still fall under certain categories. So if we can remove sections and they still fall under the triangle, what's the purpose of those sections? No, 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 you just don't want those three things because that defeats your argument. I don't because like the only way that you can say trans women are biologically female is if, well, if you if they got surgery and then we put a uterus up there, then bruh, they're females, bruh. Yeah, what if you have X, y, XX chromosomes, a vagina, but you can't have a baby? Then you're a barren woman. Then babies aren't what are required to be a woman. I'm asking you what the requirements Again, are for this specific no, no, no. thing. I just told you the three, Javon. You just AV. want to pick one and say, oh, well, she didn't. Javon, you're doing, you're doing a LGBTQ AV, I don't think you're listening talking to me. point. You're like, well, they didn't have that one. You're saying, what? They didn't have that one. So, uh, therefore, the, no. The fact AV. of the matter is all three, baby. All three. AV, if I were to say, three, if I were to say, AV, AV, if I were to say a pancake breakfast requires pancakes, butter, and syrup. And then somebody said, but what if I don't want butter? And I said, well, that's still a pancake breakfast. Then clearly butter is not a requirement for a pancake breakfast. So when I ask you if, if you're saying chromosomes, babies, and vaginas, you said three things. But if I take one of those away and you're still a woman, then that thing is not a requirement to be a woman. You want to know why that doesn't make sense and that's a false equivalence? Because pancakes can't have babies, bro. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah. I'm going oh, to ask thing. this question one wait, more wait. time. Are you interested in having wait, a good wait, faith conversation or not? Thing. I'm going to do the liberal thing. Whoa, did you just compare women to pancakes, bro? That's AVM. very misogynistic of you. Why did you Why did you compare women to pancakes, bro? AVM, why I'm gonna did ask, you compare women to pancakes? I'm going to ask one more time. Are you interested in a good faith debate or are you just interested in like putting on a show for the comments? You just compared women to pancakes, bro. I compa my comparison was not comparing women to pancakes. It was comparing requirements for things to be certain things. Okay, how many pancakes can have baby pancakes? Zero, bro. So, Ivy, I'm going to move on because it seems like you can't have a good faith conversation. Um, it was Are fun talking, I guess. Oh, um, he's running. Yeah, I only like to have good faith conversations, and you've made it very clear that's not what you're here to do. I mean, you, bro, you're doing bad faith. You literally compared women to pancakes, bro. So, Evie, I'm going to move on because it seems like you you don't want to have a good faith Javon, conversation. I, I don't feel like you're here oh, to have so a good Javon, faith conversation. So, Javon, are you going to apologize for calling me transphobic? Javon, no, I, I still, this conversation hasn't done bro. anything to make me think you're not transphobic. Oh, okay, so you're calling all lesbians misandrous and you're calling all gay people misogynist. If you, you want doing. if you would like to straw man my argument that way, go ahead. I mean you're literally straw manning me. I'm not. I said I'm for social affirmation. I mm -hmm. said I'm for respect. Mm -hmm. I just said straight people don't date trans women. And you're like getting butthurt saying, Bah, you're transphobic. Bro, grow up. What are you talking about? Yeah, so again, I think based on the rhetoric you just spewed for the last, I don't know how long we've been on, um, I would say based oh, on rhetoric. that, I would consider yeah, you transphobic, CNN. yeah. Uh, CNN, no. Nah. Okay, do you know what, what rhetoric, transphobic? Do you know what rhetoric me. means? Oh, yeah, okay. He said that he wants to date biological females. What's a biological female? Like, bruh, if yeah. you don't know what a biological female is and you're having to debate about what a biological female is, then I don't know what to tell you, bro. Yeah, so I think the reason you are transphobic <laughs> is you are claiming that trans women are not women um, based off of a criteria no, 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 that you... Whoa, 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 Go ahead. I said trans women are not biologically female, so you're lying again. Because yeah, you keep I, I would also to say based on... Social construct. Yeah, sure. I, no, I, no, again, I don't consider to, gender a social no, construct. I've said that multiple times. But I would say, I would say even that, even that, this you're idea lying. that trans women are not cannot be biological female, I would say that that's not true given the science of like biology and how we categorize what? females and how we study Wait, females Javon, and how we understand time. it. Someone clip this. Someone clip this. I mean, I'll Wait, clip it. It's on my. Females are not a thing. That's not Wait, what I said. Are you saying biological females are not a thing? That's not what are I said. Are you saying biological females are not a thing? That's not what I said. Are you saying trans men? Are you saying? Are you saying men can become biological females? Are I'm you saying, saying biological that... males can transform into biological females? What are you saying? Say it! Are you done? Yeah. Okay. I said that given our understanding of how we categorize people into their biological sexes, trans women can absolutely induce certain intersex conditions that would cause them to biologically be considered female. Oh my goodness, bros, and there it is, and there it is. Liberals are literally telling you now that biological males can turn into biological females. I told you this would happen, and it happened right here live on the Javon Show. Hey, it man, it happened here live. Now they're say they used to say they used to say sex and gender were two different things. That gender was a social construct, so you could transform from male or from uh, man to woman. But now they're saying, listen, but now they're saying. A male can turn into a female, and a female can turn into a male. So oh, I, I genuinely twice because this whole. I genuinely think you may be. I don't know if it's just a lot of being facetious, but I think you may not be genuine. Uh, if you ever want to talk like genuinely, like off of live, so I could maybe see how you act when you don't have an audience. That might be interesting, but I think you play up for an audience, um, and I don't think you're genuine. Uh, in like most of these conversations that we've had. I mean, I feel like a lot of TikTokers on here are not genuine because they keep just spouting CNN talking points. I don't I watch have not CNN. Because you, Javon, Javon, you are using the same arguments as literally everyone else. Everyone else uses the same argument. I think when they're good arguments, you kind of you kind of stick with them. You're using the same argument I mean, that most trans... not a good argument. You're using the, mo the same argument most people use against trans people. So I don't know what... Like, we're both sheep. We just follow what, what, different what? flocks. 
No, I, I'm not a sheep because I said all trans people deserve respect. If they want to be called by a new pronoun or a new name, go right ahead. I want all trans people, everyone, to live their best life. But I'm not going to lie and say they're a biologically female. That is the only way that me and you differ. Because I do not believe someone can go from a biological male to a biological female. Can't like happen. I said, uh, I do believe that trans women can induce certain intersex conditions based on um, different... Um, medical methods that would lead them to be categorized as female, uh, such as changing hormones, um, what we will now see as possible uterine transplants. I think there's facial feminization surgery to, to change their like phenotypic sexual characteristics. I think there's plenty of stuff they can do to to match up with the female sex. So, yeah. OK, OK, OK. So so what are we going to call people who are born as biological females organic? AFAB. So can a straight man just say I only date organic? What? AFAB, we have a word for them. They're AFAB. Assign, I'll just call them assign, organic because they're the original. female the at birth. OG. So is it transphobic if a man says I want to date the OG female, the regular woman, the I woman that was born as a woman? I think is it depends. I think it depends. Oh, my God. See, if you're straight, you're transphobic, according to Javon. No, I said you're it transphobic. depends. You keep you keep okay, trying to catch me in like absolute. You keep trying to catch me in absolutes, but I don't make absolute statements. There's a reason I use the words okay, I use okay, because Javon, I think we need to be very specific okay, you're about things. Transphobic, and here's what I'm saying: straight man dates organic female, OG female. Would you if we Not, created? No I'll use I'll use Danny's argument because it seems like a good one oh if we had God. a machine that changes your everything changes your dna changes your the way you're it changes everything would you date a person that went through that machine uh i mean if i had a choice i'd choose the og as well. yeah I mean, so then the, the only person? then the only thing about them is that they're trans so yeah i would say that's transphobic i mean that's not transphobia it's just a preference that you just want the OG, the original before a the surgery, before means, the machine. A preference means you would do the opposite. Like if I have a preference for apple juice over orange juice, it doesn't mean I wouldn't drink apple juice. I would just prefer, I wouldn't drink orange juice. I prefer apple, but I'll drink orange if it's I mean, there. I have a preference. Well, okay. So you're telling me, so you're telling me, are you, are you straight? Yeah. I like women. Okay. So if you saw a 10, out of 10 trans woman and a 10 out of 10 biological woman which one would you go for if they're both 10 out of 10 both at the same time why not nope choose one we're gonna I, see I, if you have a preference i don't just date people choose based one. on looks who knows Javon, it depends on who Javon. i like who, who okay, i'm attracted to more okay they both they both have amazing personality now choose one so then there's what, what who, how do i av how choose do i choose one. between two hypothetical women that i've never met Choose one. Hey, you just gave me a hypothetical with a machine. So you choose. Wait, but I didn't pit, I didn't pit you OG against I didn't pit you pit. against Choose one. That's not how that works, AB. Choose one. That's not how that works. Choose one. That's not how that works. Choose one. That's not how that works. You're not choosing one. See? See? Which you one is thicker? Which one is thicker? Which one's thicker? They're both the same thickness. Then They're how do I thicker than a AV, thicker. AV, choose that's one. like saying choose between one and one. It seems that they have everything the same. If everything's the, the if trans? everything's the cha same, what am I choosing between? Then choose one. That's not how that works, Avi. <coughs> it is how it works. Imagine going. I because have two apple saying... pies. Both are exactly the same. Now choose one. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you agree that we should all approve everyone's sexualities and 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 you know respect everyone's sexualities? So if someone has a sexuality of only dating OG women. How dare sexuality. you try to, you know, how dare you try to, oh, so now you're denying my sex, sexuality? It would, it would appear so, you're, yeah. You're, you're, de denying, you're denying my feelings? You're denying how I feel? It would appear so, yes. Saying? Okay, so again, you're a hypocrite because the left and the liberals want you to say okay to everything they say, but if you say something, nope, we're not going to accept you. Oh, you only um, get OG women, transphobe, bigot, evil, AV, bad, AV, when AV, AV, I just, I just want to know when I ever said I was accepting. I'm not, I'm not the accepting tolerant left. That's not me. Okay, okay, then, okay, then why should I accept what you're saying? I never why said you had to. Why should I have to date a trans woman? I never said why, you had why to. Why should I have to date a trans woman? Never said you had to.
So again, you got you and the left can call me all the names you want, what but names I, have I just called you? don't give a fuck. I only date OG women, baby. Let's go. All the OG women in the chat. Let's go. I love you, OG women. Let's go, baby. OG women. OG women. OG women. We still love you. Anyway, I think it's very clear AV only likes to, like, perform. Um, I don't really like to perform. I like to debate actual social issues. Um, so if he wants to perform, I mean, he can go to his own live and put on a show. <laughs> I don't perform. I, I fight for personal rights of people. I don't do performances. Um, so, yeah. If he wants to perform, go nuts.